Jordan and Egypt with their ancient wonders have attracted travelers from all around the world for many generations. From the diversity in mountains, forests, and wetlands to the large spans of rangelands and desert areas. The two countries have been known throughout history for their variety in geological landscapes and the biodiversity in flora and fauna. However, poverty, climate change, overpopulation, desertification, and land degradation are the most common challenges that are hindering the sustainable growth in Jordan and Egypt. The poverty rate in Jordan was 14.4% in 2010 and increased up to 15.7% in 2018, meaning that more than 1 million Jordanians live below the poverty line. In Egypt, the poverty increased from 27.8% in 2015 to 32.5% in 2018, leaving 32 million people below the poverty line in 2018. In Jordan and Egypt, climate change has had a serious impact on the limited natural resources. Besides the rapid population growth, the impacts of climate change are likely to further exacerbate the problem. Temperatures will increase and the total precipitation is likely to decrease. Thus, the climate change will also have its impact on citizens' health and studies have been undertaken in an attempt to analyze possible adaptation measures. Biodiversity in both countries has also been affected immensely. Jordan has around 2,545 recorded plant species, 436 bird species, 82 mammal species belonging to 24 families, and 99 reptile species belonging to 18 families. Jordan is divided into four different biogeographical zones, the Mediterranean, Iranoterranean, Sahara Arabian, and Sudanian or tropical penetration. Within these diverse zones, there are 13 different vegetation types, each representing different elements of flora. Egypt is composed of 92% desert and 8% agricultural land. The country comprises 22 main habitat groups such as mountains and wadis of the eastern desert, Red Sea Islands, Red Sea Marine Habitats, mountains and wadis of South Sinai and Mediterranean wetlands. Overall, Egyptian biodiversity comprises 143 types of globally important species, 800 species of non-flowering plants, 2,302 of flowering plants, 111 species of mammals, 480 species of birds, 109 species of reptiles, 9 species of amphibians, and more than 1,000 species of fish. Fragmentation of habitats, inappropriate agricultural development, excessive grazing pressure, overgrazing, deforestation, wood cutting, unregulated tourism development, overextraction of water, water and air pollution, in addition to climate change, are affecting the biodiversity and becoming more and more dangerous to both countries. To address those challenges, actions have to be taken. Rangelands that are vulnerable to land degradation are the object of management interventions under this project. وتحسين البنية المؤسسية وإتاحة خدمات المراعي للمجتمع البدوي لتحسين مستوى المعيشة خاصة المرأة وأخيرا دعم المربين وخاصة خلال فترة الجفاف من خلال الصندوق الدوار اللي بيدعم تقديم الأعلاف بشروط ميسرة الحديقة النباتية الملكية مع الاتحاد الدولي لصون الطبيعة جمعتهم شراكة لتنفيذ مشروع هيرد في منطقة حما قرى بني هاشم 
امتدت الشراكه من سنه 2018 نهايه 2018 ولغايه 2000 نهايه 2021 الشراكه بنت على اساس احياء مفهوم الحما في منطقه حما بني هاشم واللي بتعتمد بالدرجه الاساسيه على الشراكه ما بين المؤسسات والمجتمعات المحليه Globally, rangelands cover an estimated 50% of the total land area of the world, where around 73% of the world's rangelands are degraded. Most natural rangelands occupy land that is not suitable for cropping because the climate may be too dry or too cold, and rangelands are also the subsistence bases of several pastoral societies throughout the world, likely 200 to 500 million people globally. The core problem that the project is addressing is the land degradation. Healthy rangelands are also those where ecosystem services continue to produce the optimal range of benefits to society. The Arab world has a strong cultural heritage when it comes to pastoralism, which is the most widespread land use system. The four-year Jeff project focuses on desertification of pastoral rangelands in Jordan and Egypt. The project aims at strengthening restoration and sustainable management of pastoral rangelands for the provision of ecosystem services and protection of biodiversity in Egypt and Jordan, and catalyzing scale-up regionally and globally. The IUCN, in collaboration with its partners, the Hashemite Fund for the Development of Jordan Badia, the Royal Botanic Garden, the Ministry of Environment in Jordan, the Desert Research Center, and the Center for Environment and Development for the Arab Region and Europe in Egypt, set out to make a change. المشتل هو هو جزء ونشاط من ضمن نشاطات المشروع يقوم المشتل المجتمعي على تجهيز الاشتال الرعويه والطبيه التي يتم تشتيلها وزراعتها داخل المشتل ثم نقلها للمحميات اللي يتم فيها الزراعه الدائمه. The project has four components that focus on what's listed below, six result oriented outcomes and 40 activities. Provision of evidence based technical assistance. Institutional strengthening for rangeland governance. Upscaling of good practices in sustainable rangeland management, SRM. Promoting SRM knowledge and management, including on the global and regional levels. I want to thank the United Nations for the nature of بالمملكة الأردنية الهاشمية وبالتعاون مع مركز بحوض الصحراء ومنظمة سيداري والقائمين على الأعمال جميعا لمن بذلوه من مجهود في مشروع الهرد لخدمة المواطن المطروحي للحفاظ على المراعي وإعطاء فرصة أكبر للمربي المطروحي ورفع كاهل الأعلاف من عليه وتزيد في تنمية الثروة الحيوانية عند المواطن المطروح Rangeland monitoring systems institutionalized nationally and regionally based on commonly agreed scale-dependent indicators appropriate for different end-user groups. Good practices and effective policies in sustainable rangeland management and rangeland rehabilitation identified and prioritized for implementation. 
local organizations for rangeland management, community and government engaging in more inclusive dialogue for improved rangeland governance covering approximately 500,000 hectares. Participating communities using PRMP to guide the establishment of rules. Local farmers pastoralists adopting good practices in rangeland restoration and management and supporting services with support from local government. Increased support for sustainable pastoralism and investments and public decision policy making nationally, regionally and globally. The project has had a tremendous effect on the biodiversity and local communities of both countries and with the participation of the UN Environment Programme in the implementation, the targeted areas in both countries have seen immense change in the aspects of engaging and enriching local communities, empowering women and gender equality, protecting and conserving biodiversity,